Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the cross elasticity of demand. And it shows the responsiveness of the quantity demanded of one good to the changes in the price of another good. For instance, if there is increase in the price of good X, how the demand for the good Y changes. Now, in this uh, concept, we will come to know about two different categories of goods. One will be substitute goods and the other will be complementary goods. As far as uh, substitute goods are concerned, these are the goods those replace each other. For instance, Pepsi and Coca-Cola, very common example of close substitutes. Complementary goods are those goods those are necessary for each other. If I have car, then definitely I need petrol to drive my car. It means they are necessary for each other. Without petrol, car cannot be used. So these are the examples of complementary goods, car and petrol. Now what's the relationship uh, between uh, two substitute goods? If price of Pepsi goes down, the quantity demanded of Coca-Cola would decrease as well. Why? Because the consumers of Coca-Cola would consider it cheaper to buy Pepsi and so they will switch over to the uh, consumption of uh, Pepsi. So that's the positive relationship. On the other hand, if price of Pepsi goes up, the quantity demanded of uh, Coca-Cola would increase. Why? People, those were consumer, those were consuming Pepsi earlier, they would switch to the consumption of Coca-Cola. And what's the relationship uh, between complementary goods? That is inverse relationship. If price of uh, car goes up, then there would be less demand for uh, petrol. Why? Because if people are not buying cars, then definitely they would not be needing other complementary good of that, that is petrol. So demand would decrease. So this is an inverse relationship between complementary goods and positive relationship between substitute goods. Let's talk about the formula for cross elasticity of demand. That is percentage change in quantity demanded of X divided by percentage change in the price of Y. Uh, these are the values I am taking to calculate this. Change in quantity demanded is minus 50 because Q2 minus Q1 minus 50 divided by original quantity multiplied by 100. Change in price again it's minus 2 divided by original price that is 10 multiplied by 100. The answer comes out 2.5. Now if the answer is to a positive 2.5 then it shows that these two goods are substitute goods. And in the same way if it's Inelastic cross elasticity of demand, it means answer will be less than positive one. And if it's greater than positive one, it means it has elastic cross elasticity of demand. In the same way, uh, I have calculated uh, values for complementary goods. Again, difference divided by original multiplied by 100. On the both side, the answer comes out negative 2.5. And again, in this question, we cannot ignore the signs because that is the major thing which will tell us that uh, is it a complementary good or substitute good. So in this case, when answer comes out minus 2.5, that clearly shows that these two goods are complementary goods. And if you can see the graph, if the answer is greater than negative 1, it means it's elastic demand. And if answer is less than minus 1, it means it has inelastic cross elasticity of demand. Now, how this concept is helpful for the businesses, businesses of substitute goods, they always see what their competitors are doing. So if price of one uh, substitute goes up, the producers of the other substitutes would keep their prices same or they would not increase in, in the same way so that they can grab customers in the market. So the producers of the complementary goods, uh, for instance, a petrol and car. So if the prices of uh, cars the, they go down, then the producers of the petrol, they will think about increasing the prices. So this is how they manage this whole thing. They always see that uh, what is happening to the prices of their complementary goods. That's all we have covered uh, this topic of a demand and supply. And uh, thank you for watching the video.